Hey Tutoring Bee fans! This video is going to show you how to find the LCM or the lowest common multiple. Uh, I do have another video on prime factorization that might be helpful for you to watch if you are not familiar with that because we're going to use that in this video as well. Um, however, let's go ahead. I'm going to show you a couple of examples to find the lowest common multiple. So remember, a multiple of a number means the number that you can get if you multiply something by it. So for example, if we have, if we're trying to find the lowest common multiple between five and six, what I want to do is list the numbers that are multiples of both of these numbers. So for example, five times one is five, so that's a multiple. Five times two is 10, so 10 is a multiple. 10 times, I'm sorry, five times three is 15. And so we can keep going like this, 20, 25, 30, 35. So we can just make a list of all of the multiples of five. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing for six. Six times one is six, six times two is 12, six times three is 18, six times four is 24. So we're just gonna keep going until we find a number that is the same in both of these lists. It's the smallest number, the lowest number, that is a multiple of both five and six. So this can be very helpful when you're trying to like add or subtract um, fractions because you have to find the lowest common multiple to find that common denominator between the two. Um, and this method works very well when you're working with small numbers like five and six. However, I wanted to show you also how you can use prime factorization to find the lowest common multiple. And this is very uh, helpful when you are working with larger numbers. For example, if you are trying to find the lowest common multiple of 250, and 360. Okay, so I could make lists of both of these numbers and all of the multiples of 250 and 360, um, except that seems like a really daunting task to me. That, that uh, there's a much easier way to do it. So if you haven't, again, if you haven't seen my prime factorization video, my factor tree video, you should watch that. So when we factor these numbers, we're just trying to figure out what numbers can I multiply together to make this number up here until we get down to our prime numbers. So five is a prime number and I'm gonna factor 10. Two and five is a prime number. So here are my prime numbers. I've got two times five cubed because I've got three fives that are multiplied together so that's why I've got the cubed there. There we go, okay. So now I'm gonna also factor 360 in the same way. I'm gonna use the tree uh, factorization. So 360 is 36 times 10, and then I'm gonna factor each of these numbers. And then six is two times three, and both of those are prime. Two and three, and then 10 is two and five. So I've gotten down to all prime numbers for both of my larger numbers. Uh, let me write this. Uh, I find it helpful to write my prime numbers uh, with exponents. It just makes it a little bit easier because you want to look at the base numbers uh, in each of your two numbers that you factored out. Because I have two as a base number in both of my numbers, I'm gonna use this one, two cubed, because it shows up the most in 360. So I'm just gonna circle that one, okay? I don't have three in both of my numbers, so this is the only three as a base, so I'm gonna use that one. And then five shows up as a base number in both of my numbers, but this one is shows up the most because it's got, it's five cubed, so I'm gonna use that one. So I take all of those numbers with the exponents that I've circled and I'm gonna multiply them together. So five cubed, so let me push this up, five cubed times two, third, two to the third times three squared. 
So if you multiply all of this out, 5 cubed is 125 times 2 to the third, 2 cubed is 8, and then 3 squared is 9. And when you multiply all of this together, it equals 9,000. So this is your LCM for 250 and 360. Uh, so there you go, that's it. I hope that that helped a lot and um, let me know if you have any questions and check out my other videos. I have another video on GCF and on square roots. Thanks, bye.